Hey there, strangers, my name's Eos, and welcome back once again to Enter the Gungeon. Last time, we took our little pilot dude here and fought the level one boss, the Gatling Gull, which is, it was a bird holding a Gatling gun, and it was absolutely insane, and it absolutely destroyed my butt, and it was, it was pretty cool, I have to say. But you know what? I'm not standing for that. No, no, no. We're not taking this lying down. Today, I'm gonna make it through level one of this game, and we're gonna fight the Wingull, and we're going to destroy him right back. Yes. Episode 4 of this series is going to be me beating level 1 of this game because this game is hard, but I love it. It is so very cool and I'm, I'm excited. Th today it's going to happen. We're going to beat level 1 and see what level 2 even is because I have no idea. But I do believe I was originally going to go over here and play as the um, the convict lady right here because I've played as this guy here and then this guy here that's going to play as her. But you know what? Because I want to beat level 1, I believe we're going to play as the marine because... I don't know. I, I felt like I did better as the Marine, even though the, uh, the the pilot here was the first time I ever actually made it to a boss. I just feel more confident with the Marine. He actually gets an extra hit, I believe, and he has other abilities that I can't remember what are right now, because while I, uh, I, I should have been uh, practicing this game and, you know, getting better at it and being like, hey guys, look what I've done. I know how to play now. No, I want to beat the level one boss live while playing, because... I don't know, it's just what I want to do. So, what do you say we tackle this dungeon one more time and absolutely annihilate that stupid Gatling gun-wielding bird? That is the weirdest thing, and I absolutely love it. So, oh, by the way, the, um, the, the, the Gatling Gull, I've been told numerous times by people, is actually a reference to a, uh, boss from the original Metal Gear Solid, which is actually really, really cool. And also, by the way, again, for those of you who haven't, uh, seen this game or played it or anything. Again, I'm not really sure why you're starting on episode four. But we did in fact just shoot the ghost of a bullet that was firing a gun at us. And those those are their like sentient bullets who were firing their brethren at me to kill me. And those are living grenades. Whoa. Okay, this got off to a good start. This game is weird and I love it. And you can flip tables and just wreck stuff. Everything breaks and it is just a good time. And I I just really, really like it, and I've been super eager to get back into this. And uh, like, I, I wanted to play this, I wanted to play it so bad, and then I, I didn't because I want to I want to beat the first level while I'm recording it. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna beat this, uh, this uh, video. It's, it's what's gonna happen. I've decided. That is what is, and nothing! Not even sentient bullets, not even this dude who's got a laser sword that fires out bullets. Nothing is gonna stop me! You're going down. You're going down, crazy dude. Oh, there we go. By the way, I can dodge bullets, which is super cool if I jump over them somehow. Just, uh, just hide back here and reload. There we go. Don't mind me. I'm just gonna shoot you in the face. There we go. That's probably up. Hi. Oh, no. No more of you. Ah, I don't need any of that. No, thank you. No kamikaze grenades for me. What is this? So, oh, it's just, uh, some wrecked book. Ooh, shotgun shell guys! Hi! I mean, they're not shotgun shells, they're... What, are they? I mean, if it's not fired yet, is it still a shotgun shell? I mean, I guess it would be. I'm thinking, like, shell casings from regular bullets. But no, I guess you're still a shotgun shell. Either way, you're dead, so that's all that matters to me. And this, by the way, is a teleporter. We can actually teleport to any level we've been to so far absolutely freely. Which is really, really cool. And also, I learned, um, from a video that apparently after you've used one of these, you just press E, like it had that little, um whirlpool effect thing going on. You just press E and teleport directly back to where you were. Which is super cool. I like that. It's a nice touch. There's the boss room! I could fight the boss right now! One, two, three. It's the fourth room is the boss room. But no! Now, th this is a roguelike. Again, for those of you who don't know, this is a, a top-down, twin-stick shooter, somewhat bullet-hellish roguelike. Which I absolutely love. That is, like, the coolest thing. What are you? Oh, no, it's some sort of kamikaze, like, shoot me in the face bullet. Yes, it is. He just tries to, like, ram me. Hold on, let's just put this up real quick. I love that I can just make shields out of tables. And you can actually push them around. And they actually do take damage, which is also really, really cool. I like that. I always say we just hang out back here, reload. Oh! They can only stop two of those before they explode. And these right here, I believe, are currency. Yes, they are. I remember I've actually used them, uh... Once or twice at this point. At the merchant! Oh, this is gonna be a good run. I can already feel it because we found the merchant. What is this? A ruby bracelet. I don't know what that does. I can, oh, I can get armor. Armor's good. Ooh, what are you? It's an angry, sc uh, angry scroll. A table tech. Rage 35. What does that mean? I have no idea. Also, I, I still don't know how to use my, um... My special item here, I, since I'm playing as the Space Marine guy, he can call in an ammo drop, which is super cool, and seems like it would be incredibly useful. I don't know what button it is. 
Sorry! <laughs> like, that's... I, I should have looked up some of the buttons, but no. I'm, I'm doing this blind, as I always do. I don't know. I, I, sometimes I feel bad about going to these things blind, because I'm sure there are... Woo! That came out of nowhere. I lost my helmet. I'm sure there's some people that would prefer me to, like, you know... Like, research these a bit better and, like, play them good and stuff. Well, oh, I believe... Yeah, I can flip this. Yeah! That's so cool! <laughs> it's actually a trap. That is so awesome. Um... But I don't know. I actually... I really like giving a raw, like... It just my experience with this. I like sharing my, uh, my unique experience with you guys and just showing you, like, this is what it was like when I was playing. And it just, I don't know. It's fun for me like that. I also like sharing games that I know really well that I've, I've played a butt ton of. But I don't know. Sometimes I just like doing it this way and that's what we're doing here. I might, after, oh no, that was a bad angle to be going at there. I just go straight at him. Oh, 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 yeah. Oh, is it armor? Oh, I got my helmet back. I didn't even know that was a thing you could do. Also, I could put out this fire if I had something to put in, but sadly I don't. I, I wish I did. If you put out that fire, there might be something in there. I found that out in the first run I did, which weirdly enough was episode two, because I accidentally did the tutorial in the first episode, is I didn't know it had a tutorial. Ooh, I might actually be able to do it after all. Hi there, Mr. Barrel. So he'll send you that way, and then I need to stop you and send you back. You know, so stop, stop you. So, oh, can I, can I send it back this? Oh, I can't get go at an angle. See, these barrels are full of water. If I were to be able to get this into the fireplace, I could put out the fire. Unfortunately, I don't think I can actually push it to the left because it's up against this wall. As you can see, I can only push it directly one direction and then it stops when it touches something. Oh, that's super uncool. I really wanted to, like, put out that fire. But you know what? It's fine. Because, like I said, we are going to beat level one. And if I do that, it might take me to a secret area. What is that? Hello? Hello, it's a jetpack to fly. Why do I use you? I don't know. What's Q? Okay, Q is that. Okay, I wasted one of my blanks. It's fine. Spacebar. I can jetpack! Oh, that's the coolest thing! Oh, I love it. Okay, um, let's, let's take this and then call my ammo drop. It's spacebar, apparently. Sp sp spacebar? Sp spacebar. It's not sp Okay, spacebar activates this in the same spot, but not that one. You know what? Screw you! I'm a proper space marine now. I'm gonna use my jetpack! I don't know what it's used for, and I really hope it doesn't run out of fuel, because I don't see a fuel gauge here, do you? Does anybody see a fuel gauge? I don't see one, so I'm just gonna waste it, because it's cool. Because I am a proper space marine, if I do say so myself. So, uh, let's go on to a later area of this dungeon. And by that, I mean another room. I'm not entirely sure what I was trying to say there. And, uh, get some more points. Ooh, it's a blood thingy! I'm gonna kill you. You know, it's just, uh, can I, can I... Oh, I can't roll while I'm like this. Just go over bullets. Oh, I need to check that. I can't actually roll while I'm using this jetpack. If this jetpack's over bullets, I don't actually know what the challenge for this game would be anymore. Let's turn it off temporarily so I know I can dodge bullets. And I will let one bullet fly at me so I can try to jump over it. Even though I shouldn't, because I want to beat the Wingull. Okay, we're going to try it here. Huh? Nope, you still get hit, so I need to figure out what exactly that's for later. I'm assuming you, there's, like, pits and stuff you can jump over that you can just jetpack over. Which might be useful, but, uh, you know what? I don't know. I, I'm, I'm just cool with what's going on. Oh, no! I didn't want any of that. You know what? Let's, uh, roll dodge, roll dodge, and come on. I dare you. I did, well, I want to do that, but it's cool. You can, you can explode yourself. It's fine. Ooh. Oh, no, don't do it. Don't do it. No, don't do it. Oh, you actually hit me, you jerk bag. I was trying, I was going to try to trick you into it. Don't see through my tricks. Ooh, it's time to roll through some stuff. Yeah, we're getting some bloodborne on in here. I love it. Just breaking stuff with rolling. Oh, excuse me. I'm reloading real quick. There we go. So also, by the way, in the last episode, I was at, actually earlier in this video, I've used one of my blanks. These uh, blue things up here. You saw that. Uh, as you saw, a shockwave that I used earlier. Um, I actually thought that might do damage to enemies and stuff, um, as well as knocking all the bullets out of the air. Apparently it doesn't. It just knocks everything back. And uh, there's the Wingull! There's a picture of the Wingull on the wall! That's, are these other bosses? These might be other bosses. I'm not sure. I honestly don't know. That's super cool if it is, though. So either way, I just kill you. No, no, no. But it apparently... Ooh, do this. No! Ah, no, 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 no. Is there any guys? Wanna, hey, you! Come here! I want to kill you with a chandelier! I wonder if there's an achievement for it. Come here. Come on. He's, he's, high. he's actually taking cover. That is the most adorable and amazing thing. No, oh, come on. Come on! Come on, I want you to do it. Yeah, 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 yeah! Yeah, 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 yeah! <laughs> Oh, I actually killed him with a chandelier. I killed a sentient anthropomorphic bullet with a chandelier. This is the best game. <laughs> this is the best game ever. Hopefully, I can actually get some health from the um, the merchant back there. I don't know what he sells. Ooh, do I have any more keys? I don't have any more keys. Do I need a key? Yes, I do. I was hoping maybe it looks different. Oh, look at that rocking uh, lock right there. I want, a, I want a key. Maybe we can buy one from the merchant. I don't know. We're going to have to find it. Actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and go over to here. And actually, I'll need to walk over to that. I don't know why I always do that. Um, this is actually a pretty small dungeon compared to the ones I've faced so far. I mean, all of the two times I've tried, but still. So, ooh, there's a key. 
He costs 25, I could afford that. What is this? 35, I don't know what that is. I could buy it though. I can also buy health. Hmm. You know what? I want to beat this. I want to beat this super hard. So we are going to just heal up and not worry about these other things. There's some ammo right there. So this is 25 and this was 20, right? So I can afford, I'm gonna get one heart piece, which by the way are bullet casings. I love, or they're bullets. It's like a bullet facing that way and a bullet facing that way is your hearts. I absolutely love that. And let's get some armor here. So there we go. We are back in full armor and almost full health. And uh, that's, that's the best I can do because I've got two bucks left. So what do you say we go over here and face this boss once and for all? My once and for all, I mean, it's only the second time I've fought him, but still. I'm gonna, I'm gonna beat you. I'm gonna come on, Wingull. Bring it on! You're mine, I hope! I, I've, I've, oh no. I'm suddenly really unsure of myself. No! No, all of the confidence will be mine. Bring it on! Whatever you are. Vulcan Raven, that's what his name was! I remember now, <laughs> why, why does that bird have muscles? It's so dumb, but Vulcan Raven is the, uh, the, the, uh, Metal Gear Solid boss that people have been mentioning that this guy is a, uh, homage to, no, that's the worst place to get caught. Okay, so you know what, let's do this. He's gonna fire off some stuff, I think he, like, ground slams or something. He fires off missiles from his face, which makes all of the sense. If you thought that made no sense, well, you're wrong. It's clearly, like, super obvious why that's a thing. Because this game is insane. That's why. Oh no! Reload. Okay, no, I'm already reloaded. It's fine. Oh, he's doing a thing. He's doing a thing. Oh! Oh, oh, oh the timing on that couldn't have been better. I'm just gonna hide. Oh no! That's. I remember what you do. I remember. I remember. I'm remembering all of your tactics, all of your strats. So you're you're mine. You're mine. There's all there is to it. And he's sitting next to that. Drop it on him. Go go go! Yeah! That actually hit him. That did damage. That's super cool. Yeah. No. 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 Gotta keep firing while I dodge. Gotta play this like a bullet hell shmup game, even though it's not quite that. We gotta, you gotta do that. You gotta just pay attention where you are and where the bullets are, and just vaguely fire in your enemy's direction and hope that you hit them while you're just paying attention to what's going on bullet-wise. That that's that seems to be the best strategy I've ever found with, uh, like, top, down, or side-scrolling shmups. You know, uh, with the spaceships or the planes and there's all the bolts all over the place. If you don't know what a shmup is, no, stop coming towards me, you douche nozzle. You know, all right, and yep. Come on. Oh, oh, he's going down. You're going down. You are so going down. You're mine as soon as I have the the range to get away from you. And 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 yes, victory is mine. You stupid bird, man. What are these? Hello. To uh, accept galaxy wide. Ah. Oh. Well, I'm just gonna get the. What is? Are those ravens? Crows? Are those the same thing? I don't know what that is. Huh. Hello? Did the did did the birds just eat the bird man and his gatling? They ate the gatling gun made of metal, full of explosive shells. And okay then, okay. So those things I picked up didn't increase my health, but these do. And there's a gun. I'm 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 assuming there's probably stuff I can unlock outside of the um the the campaign area here, whatever you want to call this, the arcade mode. Like in a lot of these um, roguelikes that I can make like new things up here in the gungeon, which would be super cool. But we got ourselves a new gun, the big iron, it's heavy. So we got 150 shots, let's fire one. Oh, it fires through. It fires three, but only counts as one. Oh, I love it. That's that's cool. I like that a lot. It's actually got three, it's got three barrels on it. That is super awesome. But guys and gals, everybody who's watching, we beat Gungeon level one, and it only took four videos to do it in three attempts. So this is the third attempt. This is the first, uh, the first one was, um, whatchamacallit, it was a uh, tutorial. But what do you say? We move on to level two. I've never actually been here. Oh, it's super cool. Oh, but I do know something. Oh, I think I know something, if I remember. So we're in chamber number two. Wait for that, go away. So, oh no, what if I were to accidentally step off the, oh, I'm just looking this way. Oh no, oh, the hole, and don't kill me. Do the thing, yes, it's a secret area. Oh, there's, I've heard, apparently, there's a weird laser gate here. Uh, apparently, there's a person who will spawn in here. You can actually, like, unlock more characters for something. I don't know if they're like merchants or if they're characters you can play as, but there's supposed to be a guy here and you can like do a quest for him or something. But the way that's like really cool. It's like, why why would anyone jump in there unless you were like dumb like me? I probably would have done that anyway, but I think he has to like fix the, the elevator is broken. The elevator that's made of a giant bullet, <laughs> which is stupid. Again, I'm going to reiterate the plot of this because I absolutely adore it. Apparently, 
So, oh, it's an Iron Maiden that shoots bullets. What is that? Oh, they come back at you. Oh, wow. Okay, you know, you, you die, you die while I hide in this corner. Okay, so that's interesting. I don't know how much damage this does. Can he shoot you? Oh, I can only shoot him while he's open? That's super uncool. I'm not sure I like that at all. Hey, no. Oh. Okay, you need to die. Yeah, there we go. Death to you. Ooh, can I actually break these? Hold on, switch weapons. Oh, no. They're just little things with a lot. Infinite ammo of this one. So it only has 140 bullets left, 139 bullets left. So it's actually a, a shooting range. It's got bullets on the wall. I can't take these bullets. I don't know. This is cool. I don't care. I love it. I made it to level two. That's all that matters to me. Kill that ghost bullet. Yeah, it's a cube. Is that, a, is that a levitating cube that shoots bullets everywhere? Oh, he splattered. <gasps> I got health and ammo. I got health and ammo. Oh, yeah. This is doing. This is going good. I, I'm, I approve of this run so far. I'm actually back to full health, not full ammo. Oh, no, or armor, rather. But pretty much, I'm also back to full ammo, which is really, really cool. So I need to, for you to open and fire at your face. Yeah, okay, if I just fire all these at them. Oh, no, oh, no, oh, bad, bad times. What, what is that? It's a little red ball. It's a fireball that shoots bullets. Or it's an energy bullet that shoots bullets. I don't know, it's a bullet with bullets in it. And those bullets have eye patches. I'm not sure what the deal is with that. It's kind of cool, though. You can die, you can die, you can die. And guess what? You guys can die too! Every, everybody dies that's not me. That's more like it. There we go. I do like that whenever you uh, finish off an area, it'll actually... One, it activates a teleporter if there's one in there, but all the, uh, all the money bullet casing things fly towards you. So you'll actually have to worry about going and picking them up, and it also lets you know when the uh, area has been cleared. What is this? I don't know. I'm afraid. I'm gonna activate it anyway. What are you? So, so the only legible text is offering. The rest is blank. I can only walk away because I don't have an offering. That's super interesting. So I could have... I'm going to kick these over for no reason. Yay. Um, I don't know. I, I guess I could uh, offer something to it. That's super... That's super cool. I like that. Oh, not you again! Can you at least wait till I'm where I can see you? Oh, no. No, okay, hold on. You get really close when you open so I can kill you off in one volley. There we go. And now run. Run for the hills. Roll for the... Oh, no. Roll for your life. Oh, they're passing by each other coming back. All right, so I need I need to watch my health a little bit better than this. I've I've lost one whole pip of health. That's super uncool. No! Oh no! I lost half of my health. Not cool. Not cool at all. You can die. You just die. I like that this thing. I believe will actually take these guys out in one shot if you hit them with all of them at the same time. Ooh! And at worst, it only takes two shots. That that gun had a, an AK-47. Or that bullet had an AK-47. I'm sorry. It's not a gun holding a gun. That would be stupid. It's a bullet holding a gun. That's even more stupid, and I love it. it it's Actually, how would a gun look holding a gun? How would you make, like, an anthropomorphic gun? I don't know. It sounds terrifying, but I'm copywriting it now. Gunny the gun gun. I, I, I have no idea what I'm talking about. Either way, let's go kill some stuff, because, uh... Why not? I mean, they're trying to kill me anyway. What is that? It was it was a bullet bill. It was floating around. I did, oh, this is where I can use this. Is this... Yeah, that's what that's for. Oh, I figured it out. Yeah, okay, so I only want to use that in rooms. It's, it's, it's like a bullet bill. They actually, oh, they got a little... Oh, no! Oh, no, kill them faster. They're, they look like little sharks that shoot out... It's a shark bullet that shoots out bullets, and this game is adorable and weird, and... Oh, hey, I found the merchant. I didn't even realize that. Hi. Oh, you're still alive. Yes, I am. I don't want to shoot you because they'll get mad at me. What is this? An alien sidearm. I need one more bullet. Oh, 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 I could buy these. Those are much more useful. What is this? Is this nothing? A prime primer. I don't know what this stuff is. I haven't played this game much. What is that over there? There's nothing. The oh, that's probably the um, that little area underneath the... Um, underneath the elevator that I went to earlier. Why are there graves of bullets? Excuse me? Bullet graves? What? What is this? What is this? Hello? The altar is empty. Do nothing. It's wanting me to offer, like, stuff. But I don't know what it wants. That's super interesting, though. Oh, I want to know. I want... This is going to be one of those games. It's going to be one of those games that has, like, a really cool, deep lore that it doesn't tell you. That you've got to find out through all these little, little hidden secrets all over the place. Like the Souls games, or Bloodborne, or, there's, or uh, it, like, Five Nights at Freddy's did that really well, too. To... This is... I didn't expect... You're not bullet-shaped. That's just fire coming out of the floor. I, I'm actually really glad it gave me that in a room where I haven't fought any enemies yet because I don't know what anything is here. That's a sniper. That's a sniper. That's a sniper. Reload of... Uh, okay. Rolling right as they fire is crucial because, oh, they fire off really fast. 
Okay, let's, uh, those are gonna come after me. You can die. Oh, and you die. Oh, yes, one shot. Yes, health. Health, thank you, health. I needed that. Okay, so they all dead? I think they are. That's probably why it gave me health. Okay. Okay, we're doing good. We're doing super good. I'm actually really proud of this so far. And nope. And in your face. Oh, reload. In your face. Okay, it takes, ooh, it takes more than two to kill you. There we go. These guys take a little bit more damage. Not you, though. You are going to die super fast. I fired off once more by accident. Ooh. Okay, die. Die blob thing. This blob's just, like, splatter against the wall. It's really cool. Yeah, they do go down in one hit. Oh, no. It's the mage bullets. I see you, mage. They actually fire off shapes. It's kind of cool. Oh, where are you going to land? Land over here. You get shot right in the face. There we go. Magic versus bullets. Who wins? Me. Because I'm going to shoot you directly in the face before you have a chance to fight back. I'm not, I'm not going to let you do that. That's, ah, not in my best interest. Oh, oh, no. Oh, that's a grenade. Away from me, nade man. Oh, you fire a lot. Fire, you know, die, die ghost bullet. How am I killing the ghost of a bullet? Also, how is there a ghost of a bullet? I mean, I guess these bullets are alive. So, ooh. It's the stage two boss. It's the stage two boss. Okay, 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 okay. We need to, um, we've been everywhere. I think we, oh, we haven't been there yet. Okay, so I want to get some, I got to get health or something at the, the merchant. I want to buy that other stuff he's got, but no, I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to as far as I can in this video, which means we just got to wreck some dudes. Oh, that's beautiful. This gun is working out really nicely for me. So let me stop it one more time. Yep. And fire at your face. There we go. Any more enemies? Is that, hello? That, that was it? Oh, there's more. Here, ready to go this way. Okay, cool. Put that table for no reason. There we go. Hello? Need you to get shot in the face. There we Oh, I can take those down before they even fire off. That's amazing. So you die, you die, and you die. Wow, point blank shots are way more effective with this gun than I would have ever hoped. What is that? I want it so bad. How do I get, get hello? Could you give me What are you? <gasps> what are you? Oh no, there's so many questions! How do I do that? Okay, um... Does, it, does this heck? It, it looks like this needs a key. Uh, which I don't have, clearly. So how do, I can't shoot you open, can I? Use bullets? No? Okay, I, I wanna open that now. Can I use a key to open this, and then open that? I don't wanna waste my- my money! I don't know! I, I might. I might be willing to risk it. Even though- oh, I don't know. I don't know! Shouldn't? Okay, get 24, uh... Uh, I bought a key! I should have bought the key, but I bought the key! Here we go, let's go back! Okay, open, open, uh, open this. Please open this. Give me the key to open the other thing. Or can I use the key just on that? I'm dumb. Let's try that. Key? No, okay, doesn't like this key. Let's see if I can open this and get that key out of here. Hello? So, that's not what I expect! What are you? The Laser Lotus, level 5! What? Oh! Why is it? It wasn't firing a second ago. Okay. It's cool, like, I'm assuming. I don't know. I, I want you. Hello. I want that. Oh, I don't know what that is. Okay, so there's there was no. More, oh, I'm, I'm trying to click over here. Okay, so there's no more money for me to get health. I should have bought the health. You didn't buy the health, you idiot. You should have done it. I know everybody's yelling at me now. I'm I'm yelling with you. I'm a stupid idiot. I also don't know what this guy is. I found this guy in the last episode. He wants to sell me stuff. So did you bring something? He wants to give me money. So I can pay you. So just bring me things, K. So I want to give you these. He wants to give me money to uh, sell him stuff, but I don't know what you sell him. But I am gonna break your store. Hope you don't mind. There we go. Does this actually get mad? He gets, he gets mad if you shoot at him. In fact, I'm not gonna live another level, so, so if you keep acting like that, I'm just gonna cost you. He actually increases the price of the stuff in the store, and then he shoots at you, which I, uh, it also closes the shop so you can never use it again. Both of which are probably a bad thing. Can I actually afford one of these? I only have 20. I can't afford anything else. I, I need that health right there. I've got three shots. You should not have bought that key, stupid. But I did, so here we go. It's onward to boss number two, and my imminent demise. I, I know the demise part is coming up, but uh, you know what? I'm gonna give it a shot. It's gonna be fun, and here we go. Level two, it's a rock snake. I I did not expect the rock snake. I kind of expected something bullet related. So it's the ammo conda, the shell serpent. Okay, oh, okay, you may be a little bit more bullet oriented than I expected. Okay, then I'm just gonna just gonna dodge. I'll just just fire and dodge. Just fire. He's firing out little like snake things. It's like from the old game Snake. Snake. No, no, not like Metal Gear Solid Snake. The other guy's like, oh no, no. Okay, this is actually doing good damage. It's doing good damage. Just stay back. The spread on this is beautiful. This is perfect. I just fire in that general direction and hit stuff. That's all. Oh, all oh, so good. Oh, so good. I, I don't know where he is. I don't know if these are even reaching because it's firing off screen now. His health's not taking me. Ah, damage. Oh, 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 oh. 
Oh, fire, 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 fire. Oh, empty. No. Okay, new gun. New gun, do good. Do good. Shoot him in the face. Shoot him. Oh, always oh, taking damage. He's taking super damage. Okay. Oh, I don't know if I'm breaking the pieces of him or not. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, 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 okay. You're going down. You're going down, Ammo Conda. I believe in me. Guys, believe in me. Put up your hands. Give me your energy. Yes. Victory. Level two victory. I cannot believe that just happened. That is amazing. What is that key for? Okay, this is a thing. I got a key. So, Selkie! We got the Selkie! And I got keys for other stuff and health! Oh, this is perfect! Okay, give me the thing. Say, the Void Shotgun. I'll find out. Ooh, it's an energy shotgun. There's the next area, but you know where we're going first. You know exactly where we're going first. We are gonna go let this lady out of this cage. This lady and this giant dude. There we go. Yeah, there we go! I don't- What are you? Who are you? I don't know. Oh, finally! Fi finally, okay, I knew it would be a while before someone came down, but seriously? It's been forever! Anyway, we should get back to the shop. It's been closed for way too long. So they may be merchants, that's super cool. So you should come by, we're at the top level of the breach. You can't miss it, okay? Uh, thank you for the rescue- uh, for rescuing Mistress Cadence. Cadence! And this one, he calls himself this one, I guess. I will escort her to the breach. Okay, come on, Ox! His name is Ox, I love him! He said, oh, you're always so slow. So- Oh, head back to the breach! Thank you again! Oh, come on, Leadhead! Oh, yes! Oh, that's super cool! We've actually unlocked new people! Oh, I love it! I love it super hard! Oh, man. Okay, so, go through here, and... It's the elevator to level three! Oh, that is amazing! So... Let's see, should I... We're gonna go through here, and then I think I'm gonna end this episode, because this has already almost been going for half an hour, so... Let's go on! Down to level three! Generating, yes. Generate me the best dungeon, or gungeon dungeon. Whatever it is, we're half full on uh, health, black powder mine, chamber number three, yes! Oh, well, I'm actually genuinely really surprised that we've made it this far, because I... I'd never even beaten level one, and now I've beaten the first two, and I've unlocked a new person that's apparently gonna be back on the surface to sell me stuff! Ah, oh, so good! I'm actually really excited about that. But I guess we're gonna have to find out what happens next, in the next episode. So, this has been more Enter the Gungeon! I hope you guys have enjoyed all the running and gunning and stupid, crazy, over-the-top action that I love so very much. I genuinely do. But I hope you guys have enjoyed. Take care! And I will see you next time!